Welcome to Tribe Athletics TV. This is Jay Colley with me, the head football coach of the College of William & Mary, Jimmy Laycock. The spring game coming up this Saturday, 1.30 at Zabel Stadium. Coach Gates open at 12.30 uh, for our fans to enjoy some, uh, uh, I guess, the, the first uh, impressions of the Tribe football team. How is uh, spring game uh, going so far? Well, spring practice is um, it's going pretty well. You know, we took a little bit different approach this year, Jay, and so far as um, we've spread it out. You get 15 practice days uh, during spring, and you are limited as to number of contact days and so on and so forth. But uh, we basically have been going just three days a week, and we wanted to do that in order to keep our guys as, as healthy as possible and also allow our coaches time to teach and, and review things in between practices so we can make each one count. And I think we've done a, a pretty good job of that. I know the players' attitude has been very, very good, and they, you know, we, we haven't had a bad practice, which I guess that's a good sign. And, uh, you know, they've come to work and work very well. You mentioned the coaching, teaching, and the guys Guys I've talked to, Coach, have all to a man said they have to work harder uh, and work smarter this spring to get better for the fall. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, we, last fall was not a, an indication of the type of program we want to have or the type of record we want to have within our program. And, uh, you know, there's, there's certainly a lot of room for improvement. We've got good leadership. We've got uh, good energy out there. And, and, you know, they understand, you know, they still have fun. I mean, they're having fun and enjoy it, but they still understand the importance of getting better every day. So 1.30 is the kickoff. Gates home at 12.30 here at Zabel Stadium uh, for the spring game this coming Saturday. Coach, if you don't mind, let's take it position by position this time of year. Let's go to the defensive side of the football first where uh, things are looking up. I mean, Tribe football had a pretty good defensive year last year and a lot of returning starters. Well, yeah, I think, you know, you look at Bill Murray up front, Gavin Johnson up front. Uh, you know, we got a number of guys on the defensive line, I think, that are, are, are doing pretty well. Uh, Will Kiley has played last year as a freshman uh, is going to be an outstanding player. If not, you know, it's, it might already be one. So, again, I think we're, we're pretty good up front. Linebacker, you know, Nate Atkins comes back at linebacker, and he's a, a steady, solid, good player. Armand Jones outside is a big-time playmaker. So, again, we've got the nucleus up on our front seven to uh, – to handle ourselves pretty well and make some things happen, and maybe with those defensive, uh, the defensive backs can re really turn ball games around when that happens. Well, Ray Sean Smith at corner is a you know really good corner, and he's uh, our, our top uh, corner. We don't you know we're a little bit thin at the other spot. Uh, Parker at safety is a you know for sure a good player there, and you know we, we're looking to you know to expand a couple guys back there. But I think we're. we're Okay in the secondary. I think we're a little bit concerned at the corner position, but uh, we're coming around. So overall, I think Coach Andrews and the defensive staff are pleased with what they uh, what they have done so far as the spring. You know, we've experimented with a little bit, uh, a few little different wrinkles in coverage wise, and I think that's helped us. So again, we you know we need to continue to improve. But uh, right now, I'm really I feel good about the personnel we have there. Offensive side of the football. Let's go to the real strength of this team, potentially that that wide receiver spot where Devontae Dedman is uh, uh, back for his senior year. Well, you know, of course, Devontae missed you know entire year last year, hurting the first game against Virginia, and uh, that really set us back. And, and Jalen Christian, the other wide receiver, was hurt most of the year too. And both of them have been healthy throughout spring, and it's certainly uh, certainly made a difference. Uh, they've converted plays, made big plays, uh, gave us a, a real spark offensively and again we you know uh jack armstrong in their receiver has he uh he, he made a name for himself here in so far as way he, he's performed so i think we've got good depth there receiver we've got the big play ability there and something that we'll need Tommy McKee graduating, opens up a spot at quarterback coach. How is that battle going? Well, it's going pretty well. I mean, we still got four guys in here. Sean Mitchell, uh, Teddy Helfer. Sean and Teddy are probably uh, a little bit ahead right now. Uh, rest Everybody else, though, is still battling. They're, all four quarterbacks have improved from last year. Now, whether or not we're going, we're there to the point where we we need to be yet, I, I don't know. And we'll we're going to air it out a little bit Saturday. I mean, people will come to the game; they'll have a pretty good opportunity to to look at the quarterbacks and look at how they perform and how well they throw. And hopefully, we can get some big plays out of them. How about those guys up front, coach? They need to protect them. We're really thin there, Jay. That's a concern. We really, really, uh, we've got a couple guys gotten banged up. Uh, Wimmer, our starting center, is not going through spring ball from his off-season surgery. So, you know, we um, we're we're just barely hanging on right now we've got that's going to be the big focus I think that and the quarterback as we go into next fall is uh, getting the good solid play out of our front and, and, our, and our quarterback Mark Williamson at left tackles had a really good spring but but really we've been thin in there 
couple of hard running, hard running run, uh, running backs for you this year. Well, Albert Funderbrook is a big time running back, you know. And Nate Evans had a real good year last year as a true freshman. You know, we've got several other guys in there that are doing real well. But uh, I really, I'm look, looking forward to seeing Albert uh, get back to his form that he had two years ago. Coach, uh, do, don't want to leave you without commenting on. Uh, uh, the assignment that you that uh, you gave your team and your and I guess your team every year uh, comes up with a fundraising event. The car wash was held this past weekend and over three thousand dollars raised by your young men in this community. Yeah, for Colonial Casa, and that was a, a a big event for our players. A good opportunity for our players to um, to come together as a team and do something other than practice football, <laughs> which is good, important. I mean, really, it's good for team bonding, but it also gives us a presence in the community and. Uh, and, and really make sure our players appreciate what they have and, and look forward to doing things for other people. Coach, uh, for the fans out there, uh, what does Coach Laycock want to see out of game day Saturday for the spring game? I, I, I want to see elimination of mistakes. I really don't want to see is I don't want to see, you know, uh, miss a lines, ball on the ground, you know, uh, miss assignments, those kind of things. I want to see how smooth we are in that regard. And then just see, see them play, play hard, and play and have fun. Should be a fun day. Zabel Stadium, 1.30 game time. Gates open at 12.30. All kinds of uh, kids festivities. The concession stands will be open. Come out and enjoy yourself. Bring your family this coming Saturday at Zabel. Coach, thanks for taking some time with us. All right, Jay.